stations on June Accord. We have the tone for burn cutoff on Delta B. Roger, go move, Juno. Juno, welcome to Jupiter. An exciting end to the 4th of July last night. For the first time in history, a satellite is now orbiting Jupiter, and it was made right here in Colorado. So Denver 7's Adam Hanman was at Lockheed Martin when all of this went down, and family members of the people involved in the Juno mission were also there, gathering to witness history. Take a look. Juno may be orbiting Jupiter now, but its mission started here at Lockheed Martin where it was built five years ago. It's traveled more than a billion miles to Jupiter since then. Juno is as big as an NBA basketball court and will have a big mission on Jupiter. It will travel around the planet for the next year and a half collecting data and pictures to send back here to Earth. Tim Gasparini managed the creation of Juno here at Lockheed Martin. Jupiter holds keys to uh, the scientists understanding how the solar system originally formed. Scientists want to find out if the gas giant has a solid core and what's going on under all those orange and white swirls, which are equivalent to our weather systems. Their findings could solve mysteries here on Earth. We're trying to go out to understand the moisture content or the water content of Jupiter. And there's various competing theories about the formation of the solar system that depending upon upon the, what they find out about the water content of Jupiter will help to inform which of those theories um, is, is probably correct. Instruments on Juno will help scientists by looking under these orange clouds of gas. Courtney Strauss's husband is an engineer with the Juno program, so she was one of the people who gathered in this room to anxiously watch the satellite descend into Jupiter's orbit. She's proud of the legacy this historic mission creates for her family. He's one of the youngest on the mission, if not the youngest, and so I'm excited for his kids, for our kids to see that they can strive for that and make their dreams come true. So Jupiter is more than 300 times bigger than Earth, and it is obviously very far away. <laughs> so it's going to take us a few days for us to get our, few our first pictures back from Juno. Yeah, it took five years just to make the journey for the spacecraft to get to Jupiter.